What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video from Exotic Astrology. Today we are back in the white dress <laughs> and we will go to the last topic of the dignity of planets. We have discussed about the own sign, the multricon sign, the exaltation, the debilitation and the friend signs of planets. Okay, And today is the last session on the enemies okay <laughs> everybody has enemies and so do have planets okay so who are the enemies who are the enemies of sun okay sun's most arch rival is saturn okay because sun is the father and saturn is the child okay and that is why the son and the father never gets along well okay they always have some tusks some quarrel okay <laughs> that is why if son and saturn are placed together in a person's chart we suggest them that please stay away from your father because till the time you stay with your father suppose he's opening a business we suggest him that please sit in a building which is not being uh, supervisioned by your father okay if your father is having any kind of a role there you can't grow because sun and saturn are opposites yes one is light another is darkness okay one is authority another is subordinate so that's the uh, sun and saturn so sun when placed in capricorn and aquarius does okay here not that bad the person is very much practical the person is very much work oriented okay and at times i have seen the relationship with the father can struggle with these positions okay especially when son is in capricorn son is in capricorn from july 15th to uh sorry january 15th to february of 15th okay and son is in aquarius in the next month that is from february 15 to 15th of march so these people who are born during this time can have some uh, struggles with their father okay some clash some disputes etc but the good thing is these people are very much work focused okay they are very much uh, down to earth they have humility i have seen in these people okay because saturn is the significator of humility okay one of the significators other than jupiter and ketu also so these people the good thing is they are humble okay and they like to help others do things for others and then if you take the other enemies of sun mercury is kind of neutral for sun and venus is another enemy of the sun okay because sun says i want and venus says no give it to to others okay that is why Saturn and Venus are very good friends. Now, Sun gets debilitated in Libra as we have already discussed what happens when Sun goes into Libra. The person waits for the validation of others which is not good, okay, which is detrimental for his one progress because the, unless the person gets validation from Libra who is the other people, okay, the spouse or the husband, the girlfriend or anybody, famous female energy or male for females and especially Libra represents other people the outer world okay that we see around so these people are the ones who will upload photos in Facebook and unless they get a certain amount of likes they'll be like ah oh, I, I don't I don't look that good maybe oh, I'm not that good maybe you should not place your dependency about how you feel about yourself in the hand of others okay that has the power to destroy you so that's the problem with sun in libra as i said and sun in taurus is okay the person loves to eat food okay and mercury is kind of neutral to sun so sun does relatively okay in the sign of gemini and the person talks too much these sun in gemini people 15 june to 15 july especially i know <laughs> because even i am born at that time 
Oh man, these people have a bad name for taking too much time when they call or something. Even I know when people from this time they call me, I know that they are going to take minimum half an hour, 45 minutes. It's very dangerous to meet these people in the streets when you are going somewhere. They will be like, they will, they will literally eat your time up. Then and they can talk on anything actually, on politics or. Anything, spirituality, astrology. Just, just let them talk. Just give them the mind. They'll just because sun is control, authority. They, they have, they like to be in control of uh, the speech, communication, etc. And then they do good in journalism also. And uh, regarding Saturn, okay, we already discussed. So Venus, we discussed, and Mercury also we discussed. So now coming to moon, moon gets exalted in Taurus in its arch enemy Venus sign, okay, because women like to eat and uh, sit and socialize in the family, the mind actually, moon is also the mind, it is also representing female energy, but it also represents the mind, okay, the mind, it is not the thought process, it represents our mood, okay, thought process is more of mercury, how we analyze things and how we see things from different perspective, but Moon represents your mind, your mood, okay. So, in this case, mind always likes to delight in family, food, which are signs of Taurus, even though that is an enemy sign. And moon does okay in Libra also. The person is too much uh, focused towards socializing and meeting other people, which is okay. It is not like sun in Libra, okay. The difference between sun in Libra and moon in Libra is the person wants in moon in Libra, in sun in Libra and moon in Libra, both the person wants to talk, wants to socialize, they feel good when they are with others, okay. But the problem is sun is what we think of ourselves, okay. So when sun goes into Libra, we have to see ourselves through the glass of others, how others talk about us, how others feel about us, that is not good. Our sense of security, which is sun, should not come from others. We may, we may be emotionally connected to people. There is no harm in that, okay? Which is the mind. We may like to stay with people. But if we do not get that, we should not get depressed. We should not go into inferiority complex, which is a typical trait of Sun and Libra, okay? And Sun and Libra people, their family can also suffer, okay? I mean, uh, their relationship with the father can also suffer. And as I had already said in the earlier video, on the positive side, they can have humility, okay? And they can be very creative, okay? And they can adjust with people because Libra is a sign of adjusting, balancing, and they're very social, sun in Libra, moon in Libra. Now coming to uh, moon in Taurus, gone, Libra gone. Capricorn, the moon is opposite to Cancer. So Capricorn, moon feels as, oh my God, where I have come? <laughs> I just have to work here and be practical. So the, these people can run into depression at times. Not because of some external reason, but internally they, they're like too much tense. Always. You can see them sweating. And they're like, oh, something will happen, something will happen. Better is for the moon to be in Aquarius, okay? And then Aquarius is a bit chilled. Yes, things are done. I just have to wait till the results come. <laughs> And uh, moon in Capricorn is very practical, okay, and very much goal oriented, okay, and they like to work more than to stay in home because Capricorn is outside of home, okay, it's directly opposite to Cancer, it is directly in front of Cancer, and regarding Mercury, moon does okay, not very good, not very negative also in Gemini again the person loves to communicate he gets a lot of emotional fulfillment by communication by writing journal they can these moon in Gemini people can be uh, people who can write about great stories of great novels they can write so that's the advantage of moon in Gemini and then moon in Virgo the person is too much critical sometimes he will these people the traits of these people are that this thing should be here in this room and it should be here only if it goes there I will rip you apart. They become very calculative. Every area of their life, they are very neat, picky about details. Very particular, very particular. Even then, sun in Virgo, the moon in Virgo, people are more particular and very much detail-oriented. That, And they, 
they are too much critical about things sometimes so at times i have seen they have difficulty being happy <laughs> because they can't see what is happiness no? they are only expert in finding faults so they should use this tendency in their career in becoming critics they should not suppress this tendency they should use it but in areas where they can gain something good out of it they should they should try to control this when they are in their personal life because then it behaves like a venus in virgo okay which is uh, detrimental for relationships because venus gets debilitated in virgo so that's what uh, about moon in saturn's and venus's and mercury signs and then we have jupiter jupiter gets debilitated in capricorn because the guru does not like to come to the material world of work and duty discipline commitment all these things jupiter just wants to delight in higher spiritual wisdom abstract things god spirituality and then you come to capricorn it is that mundane sign which tells you do this do that now works 18 hours a day work 20 hours a day if you don't get this then i will rip you apart i'll fire you now capricorn is the boss and jupiter feels my god where i am <laughs> was this the place where i was supposed to be better than that i would have died the guru feels like that okay guru or basically it's the spirituality inside us feels like that okay and in aquarius it does relatively better it can talk of some philosophical ideas and um, in the sign of venus i don't consider it very good because uh, Jupiter is spirituality and Venus is the sign of materialistic pleasure and Jupiter is also expansion so these people I have seen Jupiter in Taurus or Libra these people even if you talk good philosophy with them at the end or if you even if you try to teach them astrology at the end they will only ask you when will I get money of course everybody does that but these people are very particular about such things and Jupiter is the growth the expansion so their expansion happens in the matters of uh, mundane areas and the mundane uh, things they have more growth rather than uh, the uh, spirituality because Taurus is the sign of money Libra is the sign of relationships etc so they, they are very good with these things money relationships but then that's not what Jupiter is meant to be right Jupiter is the significator of spirituality so this side suffers and they can have difficulties in uh, dealing with their gurus also i have seen okay especially if it is in taurus or in libra because libra becomes libra jupiter is like quite balanced he tries to see different sides but then in taurus it becomes too much sometimes okay if you if the guru says that you have to give up this luxury to practice some higher philosophy then they will be like oh i i, I will not listen to you i have seen people like this jupiter in taurus especially and then Jupiter in Mercury signs also uh, not that great because again I mean Mercury Venus are planets of material materialistic pleasure right so the person becomes too much business oriented and too much money oriented which is okay as in general but it is not good for Jupiter otherwise uh, these people for example Jupiter in Gemini these people can talk big big things in spirituality oh I have done this I have done that but when it comes to reality they may not be like that they may be frauds also okay Jupiter in Gemini especially and Jupiter in Virgo becomes very critical about spiritual practices he will be like okay this process is giving me results so I will do that that is not giving me results I will not do that now this person is bogus this person is wrong he is He's also wrong, he's also wrong, he's also wrong, everybody is wrong. And at the end, they realize there's only one person who is wrong. Who is that? It's themselves. <laughs> that is why there is a saying in Hindi, Aap bhale to jag bhala. So these people bring their critical tendencies into spirituality also, which is okay. Not very bad, but still we have to be open-minded and broad-minded about different practices sometimes things can work out for us and sometimes it may not so these people can criticize even god or any saint or anybody anything bad they will see some apparent negativity in some religion or some religious practice or if they go to the temple if they see the pandit or the pujari is asking them some money then these people will oh these religious people are asking money from us but the same money the 
people who are making cinema halls from you even they are asking but that time you don't complain whenever you go to god why only you complain about money so these are typical traits i have seen of venus uh, jupiter placed in signs of mercury okay and they are very much business oriented money oriented mercury venus especially and then at the end uh, who is remaining mars okay in suras mars on the other hand gets exalted in capricorn it becomes very disciplined the soldier is like yes i will not only fight i will fight in a way where i should be able to do things on a practical manner okay rather than just working impulsively and then thinking oh this work that works nothing works ultimately <laughs> so these people are quite disciplined i have seen mars and capricorn okay and at the same time aquarius is also quite good but mars is more comfortable in capricorn than in aquarius and then in taurus mars gets obsessed about accumulation these people are like yes i want this they are very much obsessed about keeping things now about holding because the soldier is like no oh, this is my territory because taurus is that bull who wants to keep things to himself is like oh no 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 i will not leave this place i will keep my space i will be like i will never give this up you know i want this place so there the obsession comes because mars venus both represent materialistic pleasure obsession fire and mars and libra is also very passionate about relationships they can jump into different relationships from here to there depending on other planets in the support and mercury there is a difficulty which mars faces because mars is a planet of impulse okay that spontaneity which is there inside us yes let's do this that's mars but mercury is a very thought provoking planet okay it's a very uh, rather than saying thought provoking i would say it's a very thoughtful planet it will always think and do because brain we always think when we act right before we act so these people can have difficulty in uh, making decisions this is what i have seen the people who have um mars placed in mercurial signs okay so mars does fabulous in capricorn and taurus also it does okay libra also it does relatively good but in the signs of mercury i have seen especially in virgo they become paralyzed okay or they can be too much obsessed about their schedules yes yes this has to be like this now even if this goes one minute way i'll i'll kill the person i will just rip him apart too much punctual too much obsession with uh, details no? and violence when these things are not fulfilled so that kind of gets in their way and in gemini i already said they are uh, too much about uh, communicating their ideas they can be very vocal about their ideas okay and they can be too much obsessed about putting forward what they think is right or what they think is wrong okay rather than seeing the broad perspective okay so this was the first part of planets in their enemy signs of sun moon mars and jupiter and in the next video we will discuss about the asuras venus saturn and mercury and in the other next video the third video will discuss about rahu ketu okay or maybe i will combine both in one only because there is not much to say about them in this regard okay and before ending as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there okay until next time bye bye see you see you bye if you have any questions queries or comments then please let me know in the comment section and if you are still not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it and click in the notifications bell so that you keep getting the updates which i sent you okay i don't send youtube sends okay bye